All right, let's look at question eight from section B. This question is about hydrogen peroxide. And we are told that for the solution to be effective to destroy coronavirus, we need a minimum concentration of 0.5%. Okay, how do we calculate the percentage? It is basically by volume. So if 50% uh, hydrogen peroxide is required we will need to have 50 cm cube in a 100 cm cube of solution okay so here is a graph on a compound called tead mixed into peroxide to improve the bleaching performance okay so first question draw the dot and cross to show the bonding in hydrogen peroxide so this is actually the structure quite similar to water right you can see and basically oxygen has six valence electron hydrogen has one okay to achieve octet configuration O needs to form two covalent bond hydrogen needs to form one okay part b find the concentration of hydrogen peroxide in gram per dm cube so we are told that the concentration is one more but the m cube we know the mr we just need to multiply the concentration in mole per dm cube by mr we'll get the concentration in gram per dm cube okay part two using your answer in b part one and given that density is 1.45 gram per cm cube show using calculation whether or not this bottle of peroxide meets the minimum concentration which is 0 0.5 percent peroxide required for disinfecting surfaces okay so we know from b part one right one dm cube we have 34 grams so we're going to use the density to help us convert to volume in cm cube okay so if one dm cube right have 23.4 cm cube that is about 2.34 percent which is greater than 0 0.5 percent so yes, it meets the minimum requirement. Okay, based on the structure of parasitic acid, predict two properties that you will have. So if you look at this structure here, the parasitic acid, uh, it's basically just like a normal organic acid. Usually they will have what? Low melting and boiling point and they usually don't conduct electricity. Okay, describe the trend in the bleaching performance between bleachers using TAD and without using TAD with respect to temperature. So between for bleach with TAD, right, you basically have one trend here from 10 to 40 degrees is increasing with temperature and then 40 to 70, it drops right, in performance. Where else is, is the opposite, right? For without TAD, from 10 to 40, it is a drop in performance. But after 40 to 70, uh, as temperature increase, there is an increase in bleaching performance without TAD. A graph below shows distribution. So this is like a Maxwell Boltzmann curve. We haven't learned that, but they are saying that the unshaded portion represents colliding particles with energy less than EA. So this this whole part here, this shaded portion, right, means that the particles have energy equal or more than activation energy. If you add a suitable catalyst, uh, temperature stays the same. Where will the new EA be? It will be somewhere here. Okay, a lower uh, lower activation energy, and then you will have more of the reactant particles have enough energy to react. What does your answer suggest about the effects of adding a catalyst? It increases the proportion of colliding particles, which has more activation energy. Okay, that's what a catalyst does, right? It gives the more particles with 
enough energy to react so that there'll be more effective frequent uh there'll be more there'll be an increase in frequency of effective collision and so the rate of reaction also increases hi parents and students i'm mr kwa founder and principal tutor from mr chemistry i do these videos to help more students understand difficult chem concepts and hopefully more needy students who are not able to afford tuition they can benefit from these videos please help me click that like button and share it with your friends so that more students can benefit thank you and see you in the next video bye